Star Citizen Alpha 3.18 looks to have a surprise new feature, and that is crafting, at least at some level. And to be honest, it is something I'm hugely excited about. On the Salvage Feedback Forum on Spectrum, one of the CIG devs posted, we just did a bigger change to the filler station that will hopefully make a lot of you happy. My submit came a little late, so you might have to wait a little longer for it, but for the time being, here is a screenshot of the update. You will now be able to create a multi-tool, track the beam attachment, salvage repair attachment, and the salvage repair can from the filler station crafting tab. So this enables you to craft items directly from the filler station terminals on the vulture and reclaimer. You have to pay the salvage cost. You have to have uh, enough IMC basically salvaged from ships. But then you can fabricate really helpful items. You need a multi-tool and tractor beam to be able to do anything beyond a tiny amount of salvage on a ship, as you have to move the one SCU boxes that the uh, sort of salvage machines uh, produce and, and pump out before it will actually take on any more salvage, because otherwise you effectively blocked the ability for it to produce more salvage. Yes. So you have to take that one SCU crate and put it into your cargo grid. There was a follow-up question. Is this a permanent intended feature of salvage ships to be able to craft tools or a temporary measure until other things are in place? With the response being, this is just a temporary solution. So even if it is just a temporary solution, this shows that Cloud Imperium are willing to have crafting in their game at this level. We didn't know that they were going to have crafting. We just didn't really know what form it would take. And the fact that they're even putting placeholder crafting in now is a great indicator that they're going to be able to allow us to fabricate basic gear, items, potentially weapons, that sort of stuff would be genuinely amazing. I don't really want it to make shopping just not have a purpose. I, I want to be able to go around the verse and have to look around for sort of rare gear and uh, the my sort of particular weapon that I want, my armor that I want and all that sort of jazz. I don't want to just have to boop, boop, boop create it all at the touch of a button. I do in my real life, that'd be amazing being able to craft everything I wanted, sort of like 3D printed Amazon. But being able to have a basic weapon, sort of pistol, a knife, multi-tool, meds, ammo, being able to fabricate all of that, if you've got enough of the salvage material or whatever material that they use for um, other forms of crafting in the future, that would be amazing and make Star Citizen a huge lot less fiddly when it comes to the basics. Things like flight suits. Oxy pens, hacking tools, things like that would be really great to be able to craft. And yes, maybe you need specialist sort of equipment and specialist materials. Maybe it costs a lot more to fabricate or you need the plans for um, like the fabrication thing that you want to make. So I need the plans for this particular pistol. I need the plans for this particular type of ammo. We know that Cloud Imperium plans to have base building in game. We do know that there is going to be some forms of crafting. So they've talked about science and being able to create sort of compounds and drugs and all that sort of jazz. But they could do this sort of crafting with a food maker and you bring sort of fruit and veg that you found, um, flora and fauna around planets, literally put it into um, the food maker and then it will give you recipes that you can then fabricate. So hopefully this is the sort of level of crafting that Cloud Imperium have planned and plan to sort of expand out into the future. I'd really, really be happy with them being able to allow us to craft components and sort of weapons and even ships and stuff if we have large enough facilities in the future. We do know that the Pioneer, for example, is going to be a mobile factory now because you don't need one to be able to build a base and they've expanded base building up. But and the Pioneer is going to be sort of allowing you to take your bases to the next level and potentially do some other functionality as well now. So at the moment, cost wise, according to the screenshot that was provided, uh, you can make the RMC little reload cans for your um, multi-tool um, and salvage attachment so you can do repairing for 0 0.02 um, SCU, so 1 50th of a cargo container. The Pyro multi-tool is 0.89 of uh, SCU, so that's almost a whole cargo unit, which is a lot. That is a lot to craft that, but it's more complicated, I suppose. Uh, and then the uh, attachments for the tractor beam and the salvage slash repair attachment are 0.2 um, SCU, so um, they are um, a lot cheaper. Really looking forward to seeing how this sort of expands out into um, other forms of crafting and how Cloud Imperium um, pick this up and run with it and uh, how the community reacts to it. Because mark my words, what people say now and how they react to this and how it's used will affect the game in the future. There was a, another question on general salvage automation as well I want to go through here. Is there a reclaimer basically going to be 
pretty hands-on, non-automated, where you have to move the boxes with the crew um, to actually be able to do the salvage, because it doesn't make sense with the Reclaimer being this beast of salvage if it requires so much sort of interaction with people moving the crates around. Requiring box lackeys just isn't a good practice for salvages, especially when you're doing it at the scale of the Reclaimer. The CIG dev response from this is there was some improvements we've already planned for the cargo situation on the Reclaimer, but sadly they didn't make 3.18's release. Some changes will tie in with another feature that our team will start working on. I'm very sorry that I can't give you more details, but I will keep you posted once I can talk about it. But there is one thing I can tell you already, which is that we definitely plan to utilize the different size of the filler station on the Reclaimer to allow you to give out bigger boxes. And Cloud Imperium have also made a load of changes to salvage already in the latest PTU patches, making the hull coatings thicker so you can sort of get more yield from them. They are trying to make the Reclaimer a lot more sort of uh, profitable than the Vulture when fully crewed. So in the latest 3.18.0 TPTU patch, we've got that improvement with salvage, but we've also got them setting trespass warnings to 15 minutes on missions rather than five for locations that have them. Comoray's trespass warnings are five minutes now. Clear crime stat intro mission will now appear on the personal tab as well. That will take you to Security Post Korea and basically take you through the danger zone there. They've also increased the time trial difficulty for platinum level for the snake pit and icebreaker racetracks. Clown and Pyram are plowing through those bug fixes as well. However, at time of recording, we are still wave one PTU and it's still locked to the US region servers. So if you are connecting elsewhere, you are going to have a bit more latency and lag. It's not ideal. The servers are pretty overloaded. What does this mean for having an open PTU in 2022? Well, apparently that's still the plan, but that's not been totally confirmed by Clown and Pyram. So we may see this in the next week or so before 2023, but Clan Imperium have not confirmed or denied. In its current state, the PTU is not great because of the problems with sort of desync and lag and sort of UIs not working, things like that. A lot of this stuff may easily be fixed if they just open it up to more servers though and more regions. But it's also quite possible that it's just not ready even for an open PTU. We're going to have to wait and see. It is Christmas, so Merry Christmas to everyone. Remember there is Jumptown 2.0 to get involved with on the live servers. There's the um, 12 gifts of Luminalia that you can grab on the RSI website. I would love to know what you think though. What do you think of crafting? What would you like to see crafting wise in Star Citizen? Do you not, not care about it? Do you think it's a great idea? What do you think Clad and Pyramid will do? Are you enjoying 3.18? Have you been playing it on the Wave 1 PTU, which is for subscribers, concierge, some uh, very active players um, on the Issue Council and Eva Carti. Do you think Clan Imperium should have opened it up to open PTU, even if there are loads of bugs? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Do you have eyes? I know I do. Do you want precise eye and head tracking that's natively supported in Star Citizen for that deep immersion? And it just so happens that Toby Eye Tracker 5 has a 20% off sale until the 2nd of January 2023. So go to toby.gg slash boardgamer or follow the links down below to get your discount. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Nordmus. It's Santa. No, Timmy. It's Father Nordmus. I'm legally distinct and spread NordVPN cheer. Here you go, little Tim. Have some discount on your next NordVPN purchase. Just what you wanted. Go to nordvpn.com slash boardgamer. But Santa, we don't want a VPN. I told you, Tim. It's Father Nordmus. Every month we have a ship giveaway. For December, we are giving away the mighty Drake Corsair Explorer with a Star Citizen game package and lifetime insurance. This no-nonsense explorer can take you and three friends to the limits of adventure around the verse. And although more focused on exploration and expedition, it is a great multi-role mission runner too. Comment on any of my videos during December to be in for a chance of winning that. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Please don't forget to like and especially subscribe to the videos. Leave comments and if you feel so inclined, use the join button under my videos and give a little bit each month to help the channel. It really, really does help. Or you can even become a Patreon or donate. Check out all the links below. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great time in the verse.